evening. My name is Constance Mangedi and I am a liaison officer at the Academy of Science of South Africa. I am responsible for the women in science activities. So um, the Academy of Science of South Africa is um, the national academy in the country. So it has two mandates. It um, basically um, honors distinguished scientists in the country. The distinguished scientists are in any of the disciplines from the social sciences to the humanities. And the second mandate it, is that it also um, uh, provides evidence-based policy advice to the government. So this evidence policy uh, advice is basically um, how it provides solutions to problems. It has a membership of over 460 and these are the resources that provide this evidence-based policy advice. So any challenge or critical problem in the country, it uh, groups its members into committees so that they formulate these studies and uh, statements or policy maker briefs that basically advise um, the government and other bodies that uh, implement these policies. So um, in terms of women in science activities, the Academy um, hosts the Organization for Women in Science for the Developing World and it's been doing this since uh, 2009. Um, OST is um, a forum where women um, in the developing world can unite to um, support each other in career development. Um, it's also aimed at helping them network. There's also mentoring opportunities. So basically um, my work as part of the South African National Chapter is to make sure that uh, I provide these opportunities for the networking, for capacity building, for skills uh, development. Okay. Um, Hi, my name is Dombokolo Sonzonga, currently doing a National Diploma in Economics at NMMU. Um, what I've learned from the, the workshop today for Men in Science is that with all the energy sources that we could have in South Africa, we definitely aren't utilizing them enough. Um, we are still using non-renewable energy sources like coal and over 90% of it, that is a lot of pollution. If we could make um, it sustainable to get other energy sources for things like electricity and then help to make that ESCOM is not the only supplier of electricity, it can help the national crisis like um, load shedding to um, mitigate it or, or anything like that. Um, I'm a master, uh, master Development Studies student. I'm 62 years old. Um, what I've learned from this session is that we must not use um, jargon language. Like for instance, in my research, I'm doing um, an investigation on substances, harvesters, and villagers' willingness to consume marine, substance, marine um, spaces. Uh, people might not understand what I'm talking about. Uh, that um, uh, uh, subsistence harvesters it, it, it needs definition on its own. So from this workshop, I've understand, I've, I've learned that I need to sim simplify um, when I'm talking to, uh, to the people. Um, my, my, from my research, uh, seafood is not for the cities only. Uh, seafood is, is also for our coastal areas, our village, our, our villagers, but the problem, they, they, uh, they have no marketers like we have in, in our cities. Hello, my name is Vuiseka Kromvo. I'm a BSc master's student studying uh, in organic chemistry, and I focus mainly on energy. But I came this morning and I learned a lot of interesting, sorry, interesting information about water and water treatment. And I found that this is very important, especially if you look at how much we 
excuse me, and our communities and also as people in South Africa need water and how we need clean water and how we need water that um, will be able to be sustainable not only for us as a generation but also for the future. So not just looking at, okay, well, we've got clean water now, but what about in 20 years' time? What about in 30 years' time? What about maybe in a century from now, will we have enough water to say and sustain the population at hand? And I thought that was very interesting and I'm very glad that I came here. Thank you so much. Um, so in terms of this particular workshop, um, SF is a partner or is an entity of the Department of Science and Technology. So um, they were awarded a fund under the Newton uh, Exchange, Professional Exchange Program. And um, it is run under the British Council. The British Council um, is the one that actually has been running this Newton Fund program, which is British Council in South Africa. So um, SF is then an implementer. So we were told to focus on skills development for women in particular. And um, perhaps in the next year, it would be a focused area on something else. So what we have done is um, we've ensured that we run these skills development workshops for science communication and engagement. Um, so the first phase involved a workshop for um, 20, 24. 23, 24 women, young women scientists, so that um, experts on science communication from SASTA and from um, uh, from the UK could train them on science communication and engagement. So this next phase, they have been running these um, excellent workshops in their various institutions to ensure that whatever skills they gain, they are now transferring and sharing with their peers and other um, scientists. So um, the third phase of this whole program will involve them. Five of them will be selected to go uh, to the UK for a study tour. So um, basically this is how the whole program came about. So there are many opportunities under the academy, especially for young scientists, but in particular for women in the form of prizes, um, we host conferences, and then we also um, have prize schemes. So um, yeah, that's all for me. We have a website, you can visit it. Um, sf.org.cd. Um, <laughs> Good day, my name is Vyuen Dai and I'm a master's student at the Department of Public Relations and Communication Studies and I'm doing research on transformation studies. I am looking at how black academics are perceived in society and from this workshop particularly, particularly I have learned to appreciate just how disciplines can work together to enforce a different look, a different take at um, black science, uh, black scientists specifically, and how we, as different um, faceted um, um, academics, can work together towards bridging the gap that's been created by um, our historical background. And with science, of course, and um, communications, this can be implemented more. And I also love. Um, the idea of policy making and this I couldn't have learned if I didn't come here and so the, dis the interdisciplinary mode is then um, coerced in that idea. Thank you. Hi, my name is Michelle. I'm a first year BTEC um, student studying electrical engineering. Okay, my thoughts on the current um, uh, situation of energy in the country is um, I think that the IPPs are coming in, uh, with them coming in with bringing in uh, wind power and the move towards solar energy uh, is actually a very good thing that uh, um, also with uh, we have the backup of uh, hydro uh, which will assist with uh, currently the not proper planning has been done for the future with the uh, amount of um, demand that's needed so with coming with the IPPs coming in uh, and there's a, a them focusing more on the um, renewable energy sources I think is a very good thing so I think that um, the move towards the future is uh, we can uh, overcome the current um, energy problem with the renewable energy sources. Good afternoon everyone my name is Noctula Makita I am from Tsomo in the Eastern Cape I am 28 years old. I am doing PhD final year in chemistry. 
doing research on um, trying to find a way of reducing emissions, which will be one of the solutions to, reduce, uh, to addressing the climate change challenges that South Africa is currently facing. And um, in March, I was one of the ladies that were selected to attend a workshop on science communication engage and engagement in Chopek, which was um, uh, hosted by ASAF, which is the Academy of South Africa of Science in, in South Africa. And then uh, after the workshop, uh, we were told to host a uh, to facilitate our own workshops and to spread the skills that we learned from the workshop in Jobek. And then that is why we're having this workshop today. We selected about uh, 16 girls that are in different disciplines, but mainly most of them are in science. And we were targeting mostly young uh, scientists so that we can also equip them with uh, communication and engagement skills today. And as so far, I am very impressed with the uh, uh, response that we are getting from the girls and also the fact that they are from uh, different disciplines. It's helping everyone in this uh, room to get something new from everyone and we, we find that we can uh, work together as a um, as researchers, even though we come from different uh, uh, disciplines, so that we can have uh, solutions to problems like energy and water that South Africa is currently facing. Thank you. My name is Kanye Silem Shana. I'm a first year student and a master's chemistry. I'm doing a project in formulation, and my title is the microencapsulation of an anti-TB drug using spore pollen. Um, how I found this program is that I've learned a lot by being here today. I've interacted with the ladies and I think they're all amazing. Um, I learned a lot about the renewable energy. I didn't know a lot about it and about the water treatment systems and all that. And yeah, I'm glad to be here. Makaili, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Ruimbo Mangwiro and I'm now doing my first year masters in flow chemistry and I'm working on the development of a TB drug using the flow chemistry technique. Um, my experience so far, um, I should say this workshop was quite innovative and it was actually empowering especially on us women as it was teaching us quite well on research especially on water management and energy and I should say it was more like teaching us to be outspoken, to learn to speak fluently and also to interact with everybody and also to be confident enough. Thank you. My name is um, Omobolali Adiyemo. I'm a PhD candidate of construction management in um, Nelson Mandela University. I'm actually working on occupational health and safety legislation in the Nigerian construction industry. My thesis is actually looking at how the health and safety um, legislation could be implemented into the, health and, um, into the Nigerian construction industry to regulate or to reduce the rate of accidents and injuries in construction sites. Um, the energy situation in Nigeria is, I would say, is purely bad because um, in terms of electricity, electricity is, 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 is gone way below um, average, way below the average mark um, because um, even though the government tried to privatize the um, electricity sector, but it has not really helped um, um, citizens of the country because you just have to um, provide your own electricity. Everybody, you are supposed to provide your own electricity because depending on the um, government to provide electricity for you would not do you as a individual, let alone as a family or as an industry. So everybody, almost everybody or many Nigerians provide their electricity in Nigeria. And the fall crisis in Nigeria has gone from, I'll say it has really gone bad too because a couple of weeks ago there were four crises. That was because the Nigerian government um, removed subsidy from um, petroleum and so the um, price of um, fuel increased and so it affected the layman. Everybody had to struggle to get fuel and 
even though at some point the prices had gone low but um the price of petrol is really high and so not many people can afford the um the um, price of petrol anymore because of the removal of subsidy thank you um hi my name is Poliswa Sioko. Um, I'm a fourth year chemistry student. I'm doing my BTEC in chemistry. Um, my research project is based on pre concentrating heavy metals in seawater so that they can be able to be analyzed. The program, the workshop, the Women in Science workshop was very amazing. I learned quite a lot. But for me, the one thing that stood out is the importance of networking, that you know, your research or whatever academic pursuit is not just about you and your work or your lab desk. You have to meet other people that know more and you know, be in connection with them because that is very helpful. Um, another thing that I picked up and you know, it kind of opened my eyes is the water treatment that they're busy doing in roads. Um, they're working on treating water in the Eastern Cape, but the project is growing even larger than that. Um, it's very important that we preserve our resources like water and, and that we sustain them and that we clean them. Um, Nelson, who was educating us about their program, mentioned that they actually facilitate or they monitor the progress and the changes that happen in the water. So what happens is that they monitor the baseline, what water is as per normal, and then they see how then changes affect that so that they can be able to prevent um, problems before they occur. So I learned a lot in that regard. And I think a lot of young scientists have to, you know, come up and engage in water treatment. Thank you. Um, okay, my name is Felicia Libese. I'm doing my third year in geosciences, which is geography and geology. Uh, today's program was wonderful <coughs> because I learned how to network. I got to um, get the feel of other people's career paths and so on. I also learned a lot about um, the differences between renewable and non-renewable energy sources. And then I learned that um, electricity is not the only source of energy that we can use and that we can also have alternatives such as hydro power um, and water sources as well as wind. I also learned that um, you need to advertise yourself and you need to use um, research in a way that um, is going to benefit not only the people in your career path, but also people who do not have um, enough background about the research that you're doing. I also learned that uh, you need to simplify um, your researches in order for people to understand what you're doing. Hi, my name is Mabalo Somlota. I'm doing my third year in analytical chemistry and I'm currently training. Um, coming to this workshop, I was like the little fish because they're all master students. But having said that, I was so inspired by these young women that are in the same field as me and I've been intrigued to further my research, as they call it, um, in fish analysis. And in, I'm also interested in finding ways in feeding, finding a cheaper and effective way in producing a healthy feeding, hmm, I don't know what's in feeding okay um, the highlight of it all this whole workshop was um, I think I've met new friends in the walk that I believe I'm going to be walking for quite a while and it is encouraging that I'm not doing it alone finally I've met a group of women that can support thank you my name is Annelise Sassani. I am doing a BA in Industrial Organizational Psychology and Public Administration. Um, having to speak about water, I have learned to value it and use it very, very wisely. Um, coming to this, I remember when I saw the email and I had to write a motivational letter. Um, in my letter I spoke about during the time when I was in high school um, there were periods of in Grahamstown where the water was too contaminated and 
it was such a huge issue for us because we had to go to school and you spend a lot of hours at school. You um, are using water at the bathrooms or um, having to drink it because we were studying and preparing ourselves for the future. And then it was quite scary because um, most of the schools around there um, had to go, most of the students there, they had to not attend during those days because there was no water at school and it, it, it's very unhealthy to be there. So, And again, this year when I went back home, um, Gramstone was also um, experiencing some drought and there was no water for about a week. So that also um, has taught me to value water a lot because it is a really scarce resource and we need to use it wisely. And having to come to this workshop, um, I have learned um, a lot on, on how to conserve water and to prepare yourselves for situations where the drought is going to extend for longer periods of time. So for me, it's, it, it was an eye-opener and, and um, I want to go more and, and learn more about it on many projects that can be done so that to help other people who are not aware or um, who are also not able to get the opportunities that I got in, in learning um, more about water. So, yeah. My name is Tembela Sonji. I'm an MTEC student in chemistry in the organic lab. Um, my project title is The Extraction of Dialyl Sulfides in order to be used as devulcanizing agents extracted from a plant called Tobalgia violacea. Um, coming here, I learned how to simplify my project because I could, before I, I didn't think that I could um, simplify my title so that everyone can understand what I'm actually talking about. But coming here, I learned like um, not everyone understands our language because even though all of us, most of us are doing chemistry, but not everyone understands like the organic language or the polymer language. But coming here made me realize that um, we need to simplify all our topics. Thank you. My name is uh, Prudence Mambo, and I'm one of the facilitators for the Women in Science uh, Communication and Engagement Workshop that we ran at Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University today. And I just wanted to thank the sponsors, the Academy of Science of South Africa, the Organization for Women in the Developing uh, Countries, Women in Science in Developing Countries, it's a mouthful, um, the British Council for the Newton Fund, and the Research and Capacity Development Office here at Nelson Mandela, because without all these facilities, we wouldn't have been able to run our successful workshop. I'd also like to thank all the participants that took part today because they made everything that we went through uh, meaningful and we look forward to hosting workshops in the future. And we'd also like to thank Diana Pound and her son Joel, as well as Joanna from Siasta who um, trained us initially. Um, the workshop that we had today brought women from all walks of life um, at Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University and we did not realize how much um, we didn't know they were going to impact us. Some of the stories that came out today were so inspiring to the extent that we feel that going forward um, we need to continue communicating and engaging with women in science as well as in other faculties. So. Thank you for this opportunity and we certainly look forward to seeing you at our next workshop. Mm -hmm.